that yeah. the Marines hung hung back and then were charging a bit later, so the Colossus were target buying of Thors, and then the Marines were mopping up the, the voids, it could have been a different story. But hey, yeah. um, I'm going to point out a few things, things right now, because I've, I've seen this build quite a few times by pro gamers. Now this isn't like, oh they're good, this is by pro, this is Terran build by the way. It's the mech build for Terran. Now, this is, I'm going to guarantee you this, right, in a few months you're going to see this build as late game. Okay, it's a big call, I know, but I reckon you're going to see this. It's going to be uh, Blue Flame Helions to do with Zealots. It's going to be Thors with the cannon upgrade. And depending on what they get, you might add in some um, you know, Marauders, you might add in some uh, Banshees, Vikings, that kind of stuff. But mainly Thor Helion. Now, we're seeing it here, right? Thors are working, right? They do a lot of damage. He hasn't got the upgrade, the Sprite Cannon upgrade. If he had that, he'd be doing so much better. Um, mm -hmm. But I reckon that's the future. I mean, that... Mech Army, if it gets up to 200 out of 200, is next to unstoppable, right? People are complaining right now about the Protoss Ball here being pretty much unkillable. The Void Ray Colossus one, and it's starting to get there. The Saren's playing quite well, but Terran just, can't I actually completely agree on that one, Benji. With regards to the Strike Cannon, it's not really used enough at the moment. I mean, it's relatively cheap to, to get. Um, it it's, takes a little bit of time to research, but he's got... Uh, Counter's got eight Thors there, now just nine. I mean, that's like four and a half thousand points of damage, which can be done in a matter of six seconds. Yeah. That means four and a half thousand points of damage would annihilate any kind of ground army in six seconds. <laughs> like, come on. This should be used. I mean, look, look at this army here, right? As I turn the overlay off, you can see it here. Imagine that army without the Colossus, right? Four Colossus will die at the start of the fight. They'll get stunned, so they won't do any damage. Now, all there is in there is a couple of Void Rays. Vikings counter that easily. The Zealots, the Helions would counter if you got Blue Flame Helions. And all that's left is Stalker Sentry and a couple of High Templars. Now, you Protoss players out there, if you engage the Thor with Sentry, High Templar, Zealot, well, not those zealots are dead. Sorry, blue flame, but sentry, high templar, sentry. How would it go? Do you need to even answer sorry. that question? Sorry, uh, what was that? I, so, I missed that. Well, I mean, if you if you engaged Thor's with sentry and stalker, and high templar, what would you would you, you win? You get raped. You get raped. <laughs> exactly. He needs to upgrade. Uh, I, I want to point out right now as well. Aaron is expanding like crazy. I mean, he's taking his fifth. I love this map. It's a good macro map. Mm, mm. Oh. We, we, we do see um, like the counter of uh, Templar being ghosts, but um, I don't see any reason to, to get ghosts at the moment um, due to the fact that Templar really are in an ineffective unit choice. The only thing I can think that would... What? Okay, wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Top right hand corner. Oh no, I was just watching this. The pro... Uh, Aaron's taken this expansion here that's behind the natural of this fourth base up here. Uh, this is a, obviously one of the spawn locations. Counter has this, but neither player realizes they're so close. Wow. <laughs> we, that, that's insane. We see a planetary fortress going down there, um, at the top right, and we've got like a fully saturated, and I mean absolutely fully. It's Sorry, no, it's two probes sh shy of fully saturated. And it looks like Counter go. now has an SCV that's about to make a CC. We have an attack coming in here. We have a bunch of Thors here attacking with some Banshees now. Uh, Pros pulling back in for a better art, probably. Storms go down. Uh, wow. Is that feedback? Feedback okay. on the Banshees. Yeah, I mean, Storm's only doing, uh, 45 damage, so 80, 80 damage to, uh, Thors. to Thors, which yeah. have, uh, you know, 400 life, which is absolutely nothing at all. Um, I do like Observer plus feedback. You can really Whoa. do a lot of damage to Banshees that way. So, yeah, good use there. Mules to oh, take damage wow. and to repair? That's smart right there. I've got to say, though, if you had the cannons up and he could kill those Colossus instantly, Cannon With plus two spot. attack as well. Colossus aren't really that good at doing damage against Thors. I mean, yes, sure, they, they do a lot of splash, but at the same time, they're not the best unit. Stalker's dropping likewise, but I think there might just be enough there to take out the army. It looks like Counter's going to drop at this stage, and once again, it looks like Aaron's in a better position due to the fact that he has a lot of production facilities. I'm telling you right now, if there was a cannon upgrade and those four Colossus were killed by those cannons at the start, which is a cool. given, it's not hard to do, um, counter would have just won the game. I'm, yeah, I'm, I agree. I'm that would have been that. a very successful push. He would have won the game, would have been a push on his natural, kill off eight gateways, which is a decent amount of gateways, and take out a lot of production facilities, a little text in here as well. Fleet, whoa. I see a fleet beacon. Are we going to see a mothership? I want a mothership. Uh, come on, build a mothership. 
Uh, a big shout out to one of the observers here, um, Xavier, who's pointed out that you know ghosts could be used to EMP the shields of all the units as well. Especially uh, now we have Archons on the scene. If Templar were used, EMP could be used to to uh, get rid of their energy so that there could be no feedback on the mech, band sheets. Though, if you go but, on yeah, mech, you don't need once to again, yeah. storms. Yeah, I, I completely agree. I think High Templar are a very odd choice for, for this kind of unit composition. So, like, as a Terran player, I probably wouldn't get Ghosts personally um, due to the fact that you wouldn't expect High Templar to stay around for that long. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, here we go. We have an army moving up here to the natural. We've got a bunch of SCVs trying to transfer to this base here. This could be a... Bit of a base trade-off here by the looks of it. But the only difference oh. here in the top right corner, we've got a, a fortress. The bottom left co corner, we've got no defense at all. So this expansion is falling so, so quickly. We've got five Thors just ripping through this Nexus like it's uh, a knife through some paper. Yeah, th this top right will be dead as well. I mean, Planetary will die to this many units. Storms will go down and completely destroy these SCVs. Wait for it. Wait for it. Hey. There we go. <laughs> Uh, SCV is getting obviously destroyed quite handily by those storms, and that planetary will fall. Check, let's check the bases off. right now, though. We now have <laughs> four versus three base in Aaron's favor. How many mining is the question? This is about to get mined out. This is actually That's, really interesting, though. Whoa. 65 harvesters to 60. I mean, the harvester count's almost the same, yeah, but, except the red income is half of the blue. Yeah, he's only got this his third base here is the only thing with uh, minerals, and it's going to get mined out soon. He's in a lot of trouble. Aaron still has this base here, which has quite a lot of minerals. Uh, he's still got... No, oh, that's mined out as well. I'm just checking what's mined out here. So, Aaron currently... I, I'm going to say on two base. Almost one. Big shout out there to um, Engine uh, Jazz Baz, who I've got a lot of respect for as a Zerg player. Um, he just said, you know, those SCVs, there's so many of them, it's oversaturated at the uh, expansion. They could be used right now to completely repair those Thors. Not that it's needed at the moment. Because well, here comes the really army up. coming from the north here. There are mortals and stuff in here. Loses a few units automatically, just doesn't want to engage in a line like that. It's just like feeding him units. Uh, but he's going oh, to defend here. <laughs> Mortal going for a Sunday walk gets absolutely annihilated. I'm not sure that this army composition of Aaron can take away this many Thors. I mean, they're doing a lot of damage at the moment, and Stalkers are going to have wow. to flee. There's nothing you can do. It's absolutely insane that I don't know how Aaron lost this. He, he had a lot of gateway units. He had Where a is lot Colossus? Of... Yeah, he exactly. He stopped building Colossus. That was what was killing the Thors, right? We're talking about how if Thors killed the Colossus would be fine. Aaron's gone, okay. So my Colossus will win those fights. Let's not build anymore. And he's just lost his third base. Wasn't mining, that's fine. He's not in that bad spot. But he doesn't have any units here. Uh, Good engagement here, though. He's got a nice flank on both sides. Uh, I think this might... Oh, if he gets reinforcements, there's enough minerals there. There we go, reinforcements come in. He might be able to mop this up. He's still reasonably ahead as far as economy is concerned. Three he is mining left. a couple of bases. If he reinforcements will come in, he's got tons of gateways. By the way, Please, the top here we have an attack comments. coming in here, but let's go back down to this third. Three Thors has got no way to kill him. What's coming out of here? Aaron has Chrono Boost. He could be using this right now to Chrono out some more troops. I, I, it looks like he might have given up, but this expansion at the top right is is going to be able to hold off this with a few cannons by a bit of time. Only one pile and pot parry, although. Yeah. Stalker's now going to work again down at the bottom. I think he'll hold this bottom. He, honestly, you should be getting Zealots, not uh, Storms. Zealots do a lot better against Star Thors than Zealots do. Oh, how are you? 24! Wow. Unfortunate. But this third base here. Now, if he loses. If, if Aaron loses this base here, right? We're back down to no income versus no income. Because pretty much everyone's going to be mined out. Uh, obviously, there's plenty of bases around the map. Terran obviously flying a base over now. Pull this one here. So. Wow. Okay, units on the ground. Seven Thors, five Banshees versus two oh, Banshees Storms. coming in here to save this Thor. Is it going to save it? Oh! oh! oh he just, just loses it. But the Banshees there will easily clean up that base there. Probably should target a pile on the prevent warp in to defend that. Uh, this base up the top here is pretty much useless. This looks there. like it's going to be GG in Terran's favor. We have six Thors now. We have several Marines marching across to take away these last two remaining expansions. Yeah, this we have Banshees drop here. Yeah, that's so four finally. Oh no, look at the Banshees! Just working on the transfer! Wow, loses a lot. There's the GG! Counter? Wow. There you go. So, uh, I believe about a million times in that game, I was reading people go, Wow, how does uh, Terran deal with late game Protoss? How do they do it? Seriously? I just told you how and counter 
didn't even do it as best as he could have. No cannons, no blue flame helions. So there you go, guys. That's how you do it. Not that, that was hard. A really, really excellent game. <laughs> that was kudos a to Aaron for game. playing.